City, California. You're listening to the second column with Joe, Mike, Carlos, and Sean. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second column. We are joined here by our good friends. Well, a lot of good friends here today. We have Ed Galvez, comedian Ed Galvez. Wow, Hello. Yeah. yeah. And we have an audience today, which is great. What? Yes. We are, do, we do are, you people. mean people are listening today? Yes. Okay. We have, I mean, we have people the, here in the house. In the house. In the house. We are joined by probably our most loyal fan, Mark Thomas. Wow. Mark Thomas. <laughs> Mark Thomas of the, of the rock band Madras. <laughs> yep. Uh, of the drink vodka. Of the, what else is Mark? The known? Thomas we, Crown the, Affair. The Thomas Crown Affair. He's Mark the Thomas. best guitarist this side of the Mississippi. He is the best opinion. guitarist. Yes. I agree completely. Mark's yes. a great guitarist. And we're also joined by... Miss Olivia. Olivia, Ed's oh. lovely girlfriend who is here tonight. Olivia the Hook. Hook. The Hook. Yes. Yeah. And Olivia is serving a vital function tonight because here's what's going on. And, and I don't I don't mean to bring it down to the top of the show, but uh, well, we're going to have to talk it. about Mike. I'll just, <laughs> I know. Uh, because this show completely revolves around Mike. Um, very sad this week. Uh, Mike's. <laughs> not, not, not yet, Olivia. Just wait. <laughs> just, just wait. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Mike, do it. Do Here it. Salute. Dumb hat. Salute. Salute. Hey, Joe Donatelli, what does that mean? What that means is uh, wow. is, is Mike's Mike's grandmother passed away this week, which is very sad. Yes. And your shot glass just <laughs> fell over, Mike. <laughs> but and, that's, uh, that part is very And Mike funny. has decided to honor his, his uh, grandmother on the podcast this week by doing a shot of beer every minute. So if you hear a beep... But but Joe, it's every what, minute of this podcast. What kind of beer is he drinking? Oh, it's not just any beer, <laughs> Sean Kearney. It's it's the same beer from our. It was like our fourth or fifth podcast when I wrote about uh, Budweiser. That's not full, Mike. <laughs> Budweiser Clamato. That's very dishonorable <laughs> to your grandmother. <laughs> oh. uh, by the way, for the record, this is the latest podcast at night we've ever done. Also, yes. it's going to show. Um. Yeah. <laughs> It's midnight on a Friday. But right yes, now. this is the beer that we talked about in podcast number four. And Mark is a very uh, uh, do it, <laughs> Mike. Fucking do drink, it, man. So, so wait, Joe. Just to clarify, yes. For every time we hear that little that beep, buzz, Mike does a shot of Budweiser wow. Clamato. But it's, it's tomato juice. It's uh, clam, juice. clam juice. It's and clam juice and Budweiser. <clears throat> but it's it, actually pretty good. It kind of tastes like it's the, good, but it's less beer, so it's less honorable. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so you're you're honoring your. your I think your, Mike's gonna throw. Mike, up. you were pouring little baby shots, by the way. What? Oh, Mark just brought another. <laughs> and Mark just brought. Yeah, by the way, these beers are uh, as big as my ounces. head. Yeah, they're huge. So, uh, so we're drinking Budweiser Clamatos. Or, or I should say, we. Mike is drinking Budweiser. Clamatos. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. I, ha- I had most of one. Ed Ed polished uh, one off. And, yeah. and Ed, why don't you give it a quick review? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a. Uh, you know what. It's gross when you're already drunk from <laughs> comedy and cigarettes. Whoa. Um, but it, like, if it was like, "Hey, I'm waking up on a uh, Venice beach with a needle in my arm." Uh, hey, look, I'm being festive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drink up, Mike. <laughs> Slam it, Mike. Mm. Or I went to pay tribute to a loved one. <laughs> totally appropriate. <laughs> yeah, very appropriate. I think uh, I think it tastes a little bit like if a tomato had sex with a clam. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, but you, that's the, but you know how many times you'd see a Maury Povich show? It's all that's my baby clammy. <laughs> you are not the father. What's the show you like to watch, Carlos? The Steve Show. What's yeah, that? Steve Wilkos. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's your the show. He's the ex bodyguard, ex oh, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. And what does he always show? yell at people? Uh, he just yells. He's like, "You're a disgrace. <laughs> You're the worst father. <laughs> You're the worst mother. tomato ever. <laughs> ever. You gave birth to a clam model." All right, Carlos, is that what you latched onto after BattleBots got canceled? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. That was a good show. BattleBots. Battle Why didn't everybody complete a flipping mechanism? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I should. Kind I, of, they should have a toaster in there. I yeah. should kind of explain like why I'm doing this. Go ahead, Mike. Please do. Because my my grandmother was Italian. <laughs> uh, my my last. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, start all over again. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> My last remaining grandparent, and uh, <laughs> God bless her, she was great. But we really didn't have like a, a wake or anything for her. So I decided tonight to do an Irish wake for oh. my Italian grandmother. That's nice. Makes sense. So just Mike and I are both half thing. Irish, half Italian. So. Right. So it's kind of mis- mixing the best of both worlds, you know. 
And uh, it, plus, it'd just be fun to do a shot a minute in the podcast. I don't know. I might be in the Guinness Book of World Records for this. No, you won't. Uh, no, no. For no, the silliest. Because there's a thing called Power Hour. But the thing was, before you were talking about this, we were actually talking you out of your original plan, <laughs> which was <laughs> taking a shot of vodka every five minutes. And yeah. I was like, no, yeah. Mike, uh, we love you. We don't want you to die Let's or, or puke your heart. Let's break <laughs> this down. Mike had planned tonight originally to do a yeah. shot of vodka every five minutes, which <laughs> we, we, we showed Mike what what nine shots of vodka would look like in a glass. We and know. Looked, we showed him what eight was because we eight couldn't was. fit nine. Nine. <laughs> it would fit, nine would not fit in the in the other one. <laughs> in the otherwise, like, whatever it was, like, 14-ounce glass. It wouldn't fit. So, uh, it so sounds w- like Kevin Ford's hiccup. With that it does sound sound. like Kevin Ford's hiccup. <laughs> no, Kevin Ford's hiccup would sound like this. I'm Kevin Ford. I have a hiccup. Hey, you guys want to watch some Samurai Jack? Basically, basically Ed's saying and any incoherencies sound, like followed by a consistent sound. Would be Ed, yeah, would be uh, Kevin's Kevin uh, Kevin's uh, hiccups. So. And oddly enough, uh, Mike has actually a glass of vodka right next to him. In front of him, yeah. Mike's gonna chase his chases uh, Clamato and we, down. And we have yeah, another guest who just, just little, showed up. <laughs> yeah, we have a little dog next to me too. Uh, yeah, Chloe is here also. Is so your shot ready to go? Oh yeah, I, Ed, I'm I'm pretty used to this at this moment. By yeah. the way, uh, props to Olivia for staying on top of the beef. Yeah, really. yeah, I'm impressed. Very yeah, good. Very good. <laughs> oh. oh no, Mike's drinking. Uh, it's good. It's good. Mm. Oh no. Oh god. It's so actually I, kind of a funny story though. Um <laughs> during fill my, it, fill it. during yeah. my grandmother's funeral. Yeah. Um there's an Italian <laughs> priest and he's this Italian priest in my family knows. He's a good guy. He's hard to understand though, really hard to understand. Right. And he wrote up this reading and I guess they forgot to choose someone to do the reading. So he came up to me to do the reading. And I didn't get to proofread it or anything, um, but I just said, okay, yeah, I'll do it, you know. And basically, it's just kind of like, uh, you know, let us pray for this and that. It was the responsorial. Yeah. So when I got up there, um, I put the mic up to my, my mouth, and all of a sudden- <laughs> Carlos and I were witness this. All of a sudden, my voice was booming. It's like, like, hold on, let's do the quick impersonation It, it was right like, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. As God it was like, it was like, we trust. For, for uh, right, this, this is what it sounded like. Wait. For God and for Stephen, please let it for Grandma. No, I think it was a little more poison. And then you would hear, then you would hear, Lord, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like Mike was in the subway, like he was a guy. Yeah, Mike like sounded the, like the guy, like the, the blue line is late by forty minutes, <laughs> and then the we're problem, not like, me. What? The problem was, like the mic was just, I was really, really loud, you know. Oh, yeah. that was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and so like, wait, 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 but the so, thing was, Mike so didn't know your voice I, was so loud, and the problem was is yeah. that your voice was too loud on the microphone. It, yeah, so I would have pulled back. But the thing was, when I was reading the reading. The grammar was completely wrong and it didn't make any sense. So I had to like, I had to rewrite it as I was reading it in front of the people. So I wasn't concentrating on my mic technique. And no, I was you just w- looking cle- down. Cle- clearly, you weren't. Everybody yeah. was looking at each other, going like, "What is going on here?" This everyone is the worse. <laughs> everyone was all em- everyone was ever. embarrassed. But I guess get I, that shot ready. I I guess that I <laughs> thanks Olivia. Wow, guess, that was sexy. It I guess was. though, what I learned about myself is that I have a very booming voice. Well, it's not that you have a booming voice. You just don't notice when things go wrong. Yes. <laughs> like now. Wow, that's loud. Yeah. No, the thing about Mike's was like I thought like after the first one or two, he would notice yeah. that his voice was like overpowering the helicopter that was circling the neighborhood outside. I was, I was busy rewriting no. the man's speech. That, no, you know, I understand. It, it was just like, awkward. There was a lot going on. It was very awkward. I had to look down because I, I didn't want to laugh. I, <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. it so, was a funeral, for God's sake. It say. was, but I didn't want to. It was really fun. But, you know, way, only this could happen to me at a funeral. You know, yeah, I like, looked at you like, what's Only this could happen speaking, to you speak, anywhere. Speaking of, speaking of um, and, and we will get to my column this week, but... Before you wrote we get to a that, column? I, well, not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, you write a column? Yeah, uh, thanks, 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 thanks a lot. Tonight's a very special night. It's our thirty-first podcast. It's our thirty-first podcast. Right, we're doing things a little differently. I'm drinking a shot a minute. Yep. And uh, we did stuff different this week. Joe didn't actually write a column. Well, here's what happens. Podcast. Like, sometimes I do stuff and then I write about it. And this week, the stuff I wanted to do, which was tonight, we went to a kids in the hall show. I we did that first, and I'll write about it tomorrow, and I'll post it on Sunday. So we're, we're this is Friday. <laughs> this is Friday night. But uh, but no, we uh, but we wanted to hit some because we had a couple topics this week that had nothing to do with the column we wanted to deal with. Uh, Mike, your dad gave the 
freaking best yes. eulogy yes. I may have ever heard in my life. Yeah, and he worked really top hard notch. on it, and uh, top, it, was, it was amazing, actually. Top eulogy I've ever heard, yeah. because yep. Mike's grandmother basically uh, survived World War II in Italy, moved her family over here after then, learned the language, acclimated, and built a successful family. Yep. And your dad told that story, and it was amazing. He was poised, too, and he, he did a great job. Yeah, it was, he did it a was really Actually, it was one of the best speeches I've ever heard, and I've, I've always... I think I would like to have my dad on the podcast one night just to tell I us. I would love to have your dad. Some some of the stories I'm that they actually went through in World War II. <laughs> I would love to have your dad because on it's here. blue. It's it's like nothing that we've ever for lived two through. reasons. I want to have your dad on. Like number one, uh, because I think he'd have great stories. Number two, it would explain the madness, <laughs> and also it would give Sean some clarity. <laughs> finally, <Yeah. geez. laughs> well it's, a, it's a good thing we didn't have him tonight, though. It's a good yeah, thing we didn't have him tonight, yeah. and good vocabulary. Too. So that explains that explains uh, why. That explains why uh, why Mike is uh, is doing what he's doing tonight. Now we yep. wanted to deal with one other uh, piece of business, very but, serious. Yeah, before we get to uh, the the podcast, which we're going to deal with the uh, the kids in the hall show tonight, which yes. was a lot of fun. It was fun. But last week there was an incident, uh, <laughs> and and you know I didn't even uh, I didn't, I, even, I, didn't oh, even notice it. I didn't even notice it either during until the after until I listened to it after, and sure enough, it, it was true. So like here's what happened. Like last week, Sean was talking about our female listeners. And you may have slipped up, right? You mean Sean? the ugly oh, girls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. I'm kidding. I mean, uh, so what, what happened was, uh, <laughs> no, was the Sean. ugly girls that write letters. <laughs> yes. Sean made a broad generalization about our yeah. female listeners, implying that perhaps they were not good looking. Now, I thought he was talking about Hooters girls because that's what Carlos was talking about. And don't <laughs> don't get me involved. There in was a lot of back and forth. <laughs> I did but, not but do afterwards, it. afterwards, Sean, <laughs> afterwards, Sean goes, do you think anybody noticed I just slammed all of our listeners? And I was like, what are Un- you talking unintentionally. about? Unintentionally. Unintentionally. And I was like, what are you talking about? Sure enough, I went back and listened <clears> to the <throat> tape. And yes, Sean, Sean uh, misspoke, I guess, in the, in the Clinton vernacular, he misspoke. And, uh, and so one of our <laughs> listeners, uh, Sarah, Sarah Brown, uh, emailed me and said, "What? None of your uh, listeners or female listeners are good looking. Yeah. Like, what are we all uh, dogs? You know, no. it's not exactly what she said, but you know. Just so you know, Sean, I was on the 110 freeway driving south, and uh, I was listening to the podcast. And Were I those actually details heard you, necessary? Yes, I actually heard you say this, and I almost flipped the car because wow. I, I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit! Wow. What the <laughs> fuck did Sean just say?" And you know what I said? Sean's become mad with power. Boy, that clam juice is really kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I always wondered. I was wondering. I was wondering who, who who giggled during Mike's uh, soliloquies during the podcast. It's Olivia. I didn't know. So that that's Mike's. That's <laughs> that's Mike's demographic. <laughs> right there. Nice. Uh, very good. So Sean uh, tonight uh, and and Sarah Brown. Uh, thank you for calling us to our attention. Like yes. we actually talked about this Thanks before. I got the email, but her email prompted this. Uh, Sean is going to read an apology in the, in the grand tradition of radio hosts who have said the wrong thing. Who said the wrong thing? The the Imuses, the, the, Imuses, gover- the Governalis, yeah. the Kearneys now. Yeah, uh, Federal. Uh, which which version are you going to read? Um the the one without the titty pictures all over it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. God. Wow. Awesome. Um, I have one really quick request uh, for Olivia, if you wouldn't mind, because this is a serious topic, avoiding the drinking, and then can we um you can you avoid the buzzes but keep them in your head. And at the end of this, can you just beep it as many times as Olivia, many Olivia can by and make me. him down those one? Uh, one how about this? How about this? How no, about, how hold on. How on. about you kick my hand <laughs> and then I'll let Mike know? <laughs> well, no, I was thinking that we can build them up and then Mike will have to do it back. Slam. Back to no, 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 no. She can kick my hand. All right. Let's get that one. All right. Let's get that one. Kick my hand and I'll let him know. There you go. Let's do, let's let's is, see. What, what, is there a way Mike, that we can make Mike, this more Mike, complicated? That's right, Mike. What would you rather do? Would you rather do them all at the end, or do you want to do them in time? No, I'll just I'll do them in time. Just you know, someone all right. Cue so me. Olivia, yeah. kick Ed's hand. Ed will cue Mike. Mike will drink. Sean will read. Uh, how, sh- Olivia, how long? Do you have another beer? How long because, until the next uh, one? It looks like it's going out. Twenty four seconds right now. Okay, so let's 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 wait it out. Thirty six seconds. Okay, and I'll use that beep as my cue to begin. That that will be your cue. I to need begin. to get. I need to get my character. Hey, hey Carlos. Fun. Anyways, yes. Once again, you're wearing a Star Wars shirt. Yes. In honor of uh, <laughs> the titty bar. Yeah. Birthday. Thank you. What was your worst ever birthday? Oh, you um, have 10 seconds. Probably. When Mike passed out. Yeah, when Mike passed out. <laughs> Where? In the, back in his room. I proclaimed it International oh. Carlos Day. And then and Mike, Mike passed out at 8 o'clock at night. passed out at night. Yep. Thanks a lot, Mike. All right, Sean, go. <clears throat> Greetings, listeners. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. As, as most of you are probably aware of, last week on... 
On this very podcast, I, Sean Kearney, made some comments that many interpreted as being disrespectful. Interpreted. And, and frankly, it, dishonest. It is. About Your false this. emotion is right. not showing through. Let him <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Let him apologize. And fr- frankly, dishonest about the false, the female listenership of, of this great show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry not for the comments I made, but instead for the fact that you, the average listener slash emailer, misinterpreted the words that I spoke. Wait, what? what? Now, now, I don't blame you, Joe, <laughs> or, or Jane Listener, oh. for in this age of YouTubes, iPhotos, and cordless telephones, oftentimes the only thing a person knows about a specific incident is called from sound bites taken out of context and frankly out of control. Now, while most people maybe heard my, my cousinini drink. <laughs> <laughs> Well put. <laughs> wow. Now, now, while most people heard my comments and, and wondered aloud, why would he say such a thing? I asked myself the more difficult question. Why was someone recording me while I said such a thing? You see, without the help of a microphone, a computer, and especially the internet, my comments could not have been so quickly and easily disseminated to so many people with such haste. He's on a podcast. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so before you leap to judgment, remember, I only provided the bullets. It was iTunes that shot you with them. (laughs) (laughs) What? My God. (laughs) Now, well, the comments that you surely have been hearing every day on loop on a variety of websites, including MrsDonatelli.com and the Daily Carlos. (laughs) There's no MrsDonatelli.com. MrsDonatelli.com. No, there's no Mrs. And and as well as the Daily Carlos. (laughs) MrsDonatelli.com is where I get all my great recipes. Thank you. Yes. And and the Daily Carlos. My Cosentini drink is is a bestiality site. Yes. And now, well, those comments that are those those comments that you've been hearing every day on loop paint me as an evil woman hating demon. The truth of the matter is that what I was trying to relay, albeit a little poorly, was a self-deprecating joke at the expense of myself and the pol- fellow podcast members. I was trying to portray us as lonely, nerdy, and I think I'll use lonely again here. Guys who, in lieu of partying hard and hitting on women, mm. would rather spend our Friday nights in a cold library. <laughs> With a bottle of Budweiser and Clamato, <laughs> talking about Too gardening. Soon. Now hold on, <laughs> I pay a, I pay a lot of money for the heat in this house. Talk, it's not cold. No, it's, no, it's so cold. cold. It's always cold in here. Discussing things it's like, like a this ghost. with yeah. Mike Costantini, and recording it. That that was my only intention with my comments: self-deprecation. And while I believe that my comments may have been misconstrued and taken out of context, I believe that in context. The overall message of self-deprecation My cousin, you drink. <laughs> is an important one, and I stand by it. <laughs> Every apology should be laced with my Constantini drink. Yeah. <laughs> now, I can no more disown my self-deprecating comments Jeez. than I can disown the entire career of Rodney Dangerfield. By the way, we've cut this speech in half from its original oh, length. Thank God. <laughs> one of enough. the finest self-deprecating comedians of our time. I can no more disown my own comments than I can disown my own <laughs> self-deprecating uncle. An uncle who loved me, who took me on fishing trips and gave me my first beer. But an uncle who once confessed that our family's Irish heritage had cursed us with small penises Um, in order to make a joke at what he thought was just his own expense. (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) What does that mean? These people (laughs) and their comments are a part of me and part of a larger tradition of self-deprecation, a complete lack of ego and arrogance that I love. And it is for these humble people who want nothing more than expose their own inadequacies to make others smile, <laughs> that I will continue to make fun of myself. My Cosentini drink. <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that beer can open? That was Joe. He's trying to drink because of that that marvelous display that you just did. Sean, I want to wait think a minute. You did, drove the man to it. Didn't you uh, um, <laughs> judge him on the length of his apology that you asked him to write? Yes, I did. I asked him to cut it in half, and I wish I asked him to cut it in like one eighth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. and uh, can Olivia go back to the air horn? Oh uh, yes, Olivia can now go back to the air horn. Yes, please. Good. Uh, Sean, that was a it was a good apology. Um, <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I, I always applaud whenever you uh, lay the blame on our listeners. It was a little hey, backwards, yeah, but sure. Hey, Sean, yeah. if yes. I was an ugly, sensitive girl, I would totally accept it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank you. By the way, I mean, I mean, for the record, and and I mean, you know, she's she's married, but I, the one person who wrote in is is an attractive married woman who, well, you know. I, I also I also plead ignorance because as of yet nobody has sent an attractive picture of themselves 
to sean.kearney at gmail.com. sean.kearney. Sean. Wait, is it, what's it? That's that email. Sean. Yeah, that's Kearney, my personal uh, address. By the way, from now on, whenever anybody apologizes, we got to have Mike Dre. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the only thing that keeps I, I it. I want Carlos Jaime.kearney. Carlos Jaime. I need to get that site. <laughs> yeah. We all want Carlos Jaime.kearney. Very good. Sean, uh, thank you for apologizing. Yeah, I, I appreciate. It. No, no, no. It's, Thanks uh, for forcing me to do it. It's hey. important. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not lying. So. I would say, and, and this is no bullshit. Uh, more than half of our listeners are female. Really? Yeah. Because and, who, who else like w- is diligent about uh, stuff? How many of them are hot? Yeah. I would uh, say. I'm not saying anything. Let's I think, say, let's I think say they're, all, they're they're all hot. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we have 50 regular listeners. Yeah. Okay. And I would say let's say let's say 30 of them are females. Okay. Which is a good guess. And I would say of those 30, I would say like 27 what? are hot. What? And the three who aren't know what they have to work on. Oh. So <laughs> that's what I would <laughs> Wow. I know. I know I'm going to quit listening because <laughs> you're judgmental. <laughs> no, I'm not. Jesus, hey, Joe. You know what? Every every girl. I'm gonna, gonna I'm, now, now I've got to apologize. I'm going to keep doing these podcasts, but I'm not going to listen anymore. <laughs> yeah. oh, you son of every a girl that listens to our podcast is Yes, beautiful. my mom was a bumblebee. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, so that's uh, uh, no, Sean. I do appreciate it. Like I said, like most, of the, most of my seriously, and I'm not kidding. Most of the letters that come in, they are from women. Most of the people who listen, they are women. It's that mailed no- in or email. Uh, email oh, both. Email. Oh, yeah. Email. Well, oh, you know email. what? Anybody that's drunk at a computer can send an email. <laughs> yeah. But most of our were... listeners are girls who are drunk on Sunday nights. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Carlos I'm just saying type most, of women. Most yeah. of the emails yeah. I get are from drunk dudes getting mad at me that I'm not. A uh, fourteen-year-old girl. So <laughs> it's like, why would they expect that? Where did you meet these men? Online. Color uh, me mine. No. <laughs> yeah, color me. I was building a bear. All right. <laughs> I thought I was a Nambla not net, not Nambla dot org. <laughs> Nambla dot Kearney, man. <laughs> Carlos Jaime dot Kearney has that. <laughs> I thought that's I was bad. watching a Kids in the Hall show. Yeah, exactly. Oh, speaking, oh speak, of which. speaking of which, uh, and that's Ooh. what my column's going to be about tomorrow. And I don't, I don't exactly know what I'm going to write yet. But, uh, <laughs> that's about, that's about right. Yeah. That's about right. Wow, uh, I'll figure it out. Usually, we, that's two hours ago. I know. No kidding. We, uh, we went tonight, and uh, and by we, I mean uh, Mike, myself, Carlos, Ed, Sean, hey. and Olivia. Everybody but Mark. Mark Thomas. Yeah. Mark Thomas. Yeah. Mark, Mark Thomas. Thomas. We went to the Kids in the Hall. I was preoccupied. Show. Yes. <laughs> We know. I got text messages from you from about an hour before the show, threatening to poop in our garden because you had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Shut up. You know, Joe. That's wow. Uh oh. What? Oh. Did he actually poop in the garden? No, no, no. I don't know. But why... there's, there's mud in our kitchen. No. So. There's a reason why I didn't. Uh, th- that's why I didn't shake his hand. <laughs> like I was like, oh hey, I know this guy. Ed. But I heard there was talk of poop. <laughs> there was talk. I'm, I'm, you know, not, I'm Ed, not gonna. Ed. For- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. You know, oh. just do that whenever Mike's gonna say yes. anything. Forget about Mark Please. shitting in my garden, Joe. This is a very special moment for oh. you and me. Oh, no. Why? Oh, geez. because for the first time, you said it's our garden. Oh. It's not <laughs> just <laughs> my <laughs> garden. Oh, yep. I'll be Guess your Joe. I'll be your Mike. I'll be your favorite is. tale. A boo do boo do boo do 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 do. Anything mm. you say. I, like, I feel like my underwears have been dirtied by somebody Joe. else. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know who that other person is. Mm. That that means a lot to me. You mean mm. you mean to say that our it's Sean my it's it my up. garden, but two, it's <laughs> it's our garden in a three way. three. And yes, uh, yeah, I'm can, doing it to protect the both of us. I'm trying to make this place you know, a compound. A, uh, considering I've, I, and we I, don't have to leave. Consider I water it most days of the week. You know, I, I do con- start to consider it my uh, my garden. There so. you go. Oh, He's boy. starting to fall in love with it. Hey, uh, I thank you. Am I gonna? <laughs> I can't wait to read your guys' book that you write together. Your joint memoir, <laughs> sec- Our Garden, my secret, our gay, secret, our secret gay, gay garden, garden. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> our secret yeah. gay garden. <laughs> Uh, I our, need a girlfriend. Our open gay life. <laughs> uh, our closed gay garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, Jordy, oh, Jordy oh, accomplished oh, the garden. Uh, the oh, gayness open. between us with the uh, with with the uh, the party invitation to our last birthday. The name so. of the book would be uh, would be Open Blossoms, Closed Closets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. Not uh, closet. But yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> it was it was the cords. Oh. Uh, Ed just spilled beer all over Carl's No, knee. Carl's peed his knee. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's Carl, stop, peed his stop knee. Stop your knee. All right, so we went and saw the, the Kids in the Hall. <laughs> we went and saw the Kids in the Hall comedy show tonight. That's what I'm going to write about. That's what the podcast is about. It, it was uh, 
Ed had the strongest think, opinion of the show. Now, I would just like to tell you, like, I was looking over at, I, I was looking over at Ed. Drink, Clamato Drink. boy. Drink. How's your shrimp? <clears throat> uh, this is really bad beer. Uh, yeah, it is. But I just wanted to uh, say, like, as we were watching the, kids in the hall I, show, I dozed off a couple times. I looked over at Ed. I dozed off a I couple times. I looked over at Ed, and he was, like, near asleep. <laughs> Oh, he, was, he was doing the dug nap. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh man, you know. Don't you? How dare you, you try to tell it? How dare you compare me to that fedora wearing, guayabara wearing? You know, he listens to this. <laughs> for, for, I know he does. <laughs> like more than once, he'll listen to this. That's why I'm being so over dramatic. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. Yeah, he knows. No, uh, he loves our voices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, Ed seemed to have the strongest opinion in the moment and afterwards of the show. Now, the kids in the hall, I'll state this up. Uh, I would say, like, if I had it nice, Mark Thomas cracking it open. Um, I love sketch comedy, but I have to say, like, they barely make my top five sketch comedy groups of all time. Wow, who is your top five? I would say my top five, like, if I had to say shows, off the top of my head, and I have not thought about this, but I would say uh, Upright Citizens Brigade, Season one, unbelievable. I'd say the state, the show, or the stage show. The the, the show on TV, the show on TV. Okay. So UCB, uh, the state. I love the state. That was great. The show or the stage show? No, the show, the show, the show. I would say uh, Mr. Show, the show. Another one. What about favorites. the stage show? No, the stage show's good. No, don't lead me down that path, right. Ed Galvez. Uh, I would say uh, number four would have to. Oh God. Uh, let me think. The stage show, the show. No, no. SCTV. <laughs> probably. Uh, I, I'm probably Sarant Live. Uh, uh, SNL. You actually said SCTV. No, I don't want to say SCTV. Oh. And then number five would be probably a uh, Chappelle show. Those are my five. Okay, what are your top five presidents as play, uh, movie presidents? Oh, good question. So, yeah, you can say, <laughs> a, I'm sorry, like actors TV portraying presidents. presidents. Uh, yes, actors portraying presidents easy. in movies Ooh, or television. Number one, number one, Dave. <laughs> oh, no, okay. not Dave. Uh, I would say, uh, Pres- Freeman. President da- President David Palmer from 24 okay. yeah. is, uh, is probably not number number one. He was, sure. He was, uh, I would I w- vote for him. I would never vote for him, but, uh, but uh, Jedediah Bartlett from, uh, okay. from West Wing yeah, yeah. is, uh, is definitely definitely one, uh, of my, one of my all-time favorites. Chick? No, 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 no. <laughs> Charles, what? Martin Sheen. Oh. Martin Sheen is one, like, one of the greats. Name. No, uh, other, other great, uh, uh, yeah, Morgan Freeman in uh, Sudden Impact, or what was that? D- uh, Deep, Impact. Deep Impact. Deep Impact. <laughs> he, was, he, he got us through that time of crisis. <laughs> he did, yeah. Uh, Steve Steven Seagal was in. That was good. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think, who else, were, who else have been great presidential? Uh, Bill Paxton. Yes, oh, thank yeah, you. Bill He's Paxton. my number one. Really? Independence Day. He's nah, my number one. I think I go with no, Pullman. You talk about Pullman. Crisis? Bill, Bill Pullman. <laughs> yeah, dude. Maybe Twister? Pullman or Flexen. Pullman. Oh, Bill Pullman. You're right. Bill Pullman. <laughs> yeah. I go with Pullman. It doesn't matter. I'll throw, I'll throw Pullman out there. He's pretty And I would say, and, and we're all forgetting animated Bill Clinton in the Beavis and Butthead Do America movie. Oh, damn. Anime, come on. That was a great one. And the animated Chelsea Clinton was wonderful yeah. as well. Oh, what about real life Bill Clinton in... <laughs> the news. <laughs> yeah, I go. I go with real life Bill Clinton in the news. Before news I go with any of those. Before I go with any of those. So, uh, so anyway, we, <laughs> we, went, uh, we got we got wonderfully off topic there. Uh, I like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What are we talking about? Um, the uh, kids in the hall. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and and here's the thing. Here's what I love about Mike. This is what's great. I, <laughs> His sexy lips. Well, among other things. <laughs> Sweet fanny. Before the show, we always we pre-produce the show and we talk about like what we're going to talk about. And we don't get into it in detail. Really, we do. This. Obviously, <laughs> we do. But you're what listening to today? this show right now. What happened oh, today? For tonight. And I, I go, Mike, what did you think of this show? And Mike said. Oh, the guy who sat in front of me, I wanted to chop his head off. <laughs> like, no opinion on the uh, hour and a half of comedy we saw. Nope. <laughs> just, well, yeah, the guy, like, he had one of the biggest heads I've ever seen. It's like, you know what? You should not allow people with big heads in, like, shows like that. <laughs> Drink. I like how, I just got to point this out. I like how right now the most interesting part of our show is something that the audience can't see. Which is Mike taking a shot of beer and clam juice I every minute. Say it, but they could play, along. Can, they we, can play along. can we put some video? Can yeah. we do a video? Mark, Mark brings up a good this? point. Everyone can play along. Yeah. Listen I, again and drink video. every time you hear a beep. No, I. Uh, this guy just had an enormous head, and <laughs> I was trying to watch the show. And what did you do about it? 
I just kept leaning my neck to one side, uh, and my neck okay. became so you, cream. You, in, and your head was practically on Carlos's lap. It was actually on Sean's. And Sean and I had a very intimate moments like, during the show. <laughs> you know, in a situation like this, do you know what a fearless leader like Bill Pullman would have done? What would he have done? He would have stood up and he said, This is said, our... This is our, our kids in the hall day. Oh. I think I was Independence Day. <laughs> nah. Okay. What would have what <laughs> oh, James Earl Jones Mufasa Lion said? That uh, wasn't a president. Did James Earl, if James <laughs> he Earl ran Jones, the jungle though? He ran the jungle. For yeah, that's true. Did he ever play a president in a movie? No. Uh, no he uh, the president of the jungle and no, like, yeah the and the uh, president of the empire. empire. Yeah, yeah. To yeah that's good enough. Yeah. I think Darth Vader and, and the president of Africa and coming to yep. America. True, true. Uh, Carlos, and before you know, in a bar like the biggest head I've ever seen was uh, Mr. Toad, and that was at Disneyland. Yeah, Wild Ride. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. uh, that was a right. <laughs> yeah, it was a big head, but that was what it was like tonight. Oh, it was like sad. Okay. Mr. Toad sit in front of me. Let me introduce you to the the horror that is pre-producing this show. <laughs> I'm only guys in this. What's wrong, Again, Joe? I uh, I ask, I, we we go to a comedy show tonight. We all spend good money to see a comedy show. We spent great money. That is full of like opinions and and crazy like just crazy Judgment. scenes and stuff. And I ask these guys, I go, "What do you remember about tonight's show? What's funny? Whatever." And from Carlos, I get, "Tell them about my ride home." <laughs> well, you tell him. Tell him. <laughs> Seriously. Did, did we not see a show tonight? Mike complains about the big head. And well, you, he you, got a free nap. Carlos complains about... All right, so we, yeah. we, we took Mike's all right, dad's... Next time, uh, next time you go on. <laughs> we took Mike's dad's... Next uh, time, don't take a bus from the titty bar <laughs> to... Uh, I, I did not to, uh, let, us, let us explain what happened. Uh. So, uh, so we drove... A, we, Carlos took the bus to the show tonight, which was in downtown L.A. <laughs> And then he we took a bus to his bar on his birthdays. Yeah, he, Carlos takes the bus a lot. No, I took the cab. Okay, so and when we came home, <laughs> Carlos came with the us. The bus cab. And his bus. dad, Mike's dad's uh, Ford Explorer, but we had no seat seats left, so Carlos was in the back area of the truck, like a dog. Yeah, like curled down so no dogs don't spoon. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> so nobody could see him. Yeah, and uh, that not was from the outside. So wow. Carlos, what did you think of the show? Tell him about my ride home. Well, I, I said it was great, but no one paid attention, of course. So I just said, all right, just tell them. I kept on trying to dedicate songs to you from the front seat. Yeah, I know. You did. You did. <laughs> hey, which, I, which, which was the second one you dedicated to? <laughs> I dedicated uh, SWV. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. SWV. Yeah. Uh, Guns N' Roses. Estranged. Estranged. Guns N' Roses. Very good and song. all I could hear was this boom, 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 And boom. nobody ever could hear anything but. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything Well, that's because that's the subwoofers. In yeah, the exactly. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> so Carlos laid down like diagonally in the back of the truck uh, on the whole way home. If we would have gotten any kind of accident, you would have been like, oh, I would have been dead. Sponge soup on the front yeah, of the fucking forget about yeah, it. thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so that was Carlos. It was a memorable <laughs> night. So that I was, was actually saying, no, hold, on, like, hold on. Let me tell you, let me continue the nightmare that is pre producing the show. Mike, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's fine. Sean, <laughs> Sean, what did you what did you think of the show? I I couldn't find this one slide in downtown LA. Uh, I saw I'm, a slide, yeah. Sean saw a slide in downtown LA that he couldn't find online and it made it yeah. now I got I got Mike Big Head, I got Carlos uh I'm sliding on the back seat, I got Sean, there was a slide I couldn't find. But but in my defense for each one of those things, let me just go down so we've heard <laughs> what everyone said. Now let me give you what Joe said in response to all those things. So when Mike said, I, there was a guy with a big head. I want to chop his head off. Joe went, okay, cool, and started writing that down. I did. Then when Carlos said, yes. um, uh-huh. think about the ride, okay, cool, we'll save it for the show. Save it for the <laughs> <Yeah>. show. <laughs> Wrote that down. And then when I said the thing about the slot, I said, I can't find it online. He goes, well, I mean, you can Google it. You can find it online. We'll look it up on, online. We'll look it up during the show. Yeah. Which is what I was doing right now. Which is saying, did you find it? No, I actually yeah. was looking up <laughs> fictional presidential candidates. Oh. <laughs> and which I is, found a couple of good ones. Which proves that Joe is the worst producer ever. <laughs> I, in I, I pretty history. much am the worst producer ever. I'm not okay, wait. Graydon Creed, who was um, in the X Men, he was the founder of the anti mutant hate group, the Friends of Humanity, uh, and then X-Men? became president in X Men and Are was you played X-Files? by uh, X Men. Okay. He was played by a, right. a great actor. Not in my top no. five. Okay. Good. Who else you got? <laughs> Daffy Duck. No. Daffy Duck. And Daffy Duck, he was Daffy Duck for president. Um, party, wants to be his own party, and was defeated by Bugs Bunny no. once he started making Give me real, about, give me real the, people. How about the president and Superman? That guy was not good. No. I'll tell you who the worst... Let, let me tell you guys right now. Here's the worst public official from a movie ever. And tell me if I'm wrong, you guys, right now. 
the mayor of Amity Island. Oh, horrible. The <laughs> worst yeah. public mm-hmm. official Douchebags in yeah. history. There are sharks eating people 20 feet from the coastline. Yeah. And the guy, all he's worried about is uh, the Labor Day weekend. Well, here in like, <laughs> what? You know, I here in Los Angeles, we actually just had recent shark attacks like uh, in the yeah, Los Angeles down, area. Down oh, and if it was up to the mayor of Amity Island, people would still be. Well, that swimming. was the thing, though. Like two days <laughs> after the shark <laughs> attack happened, and the guy died, they opened up the beaches yeah. again. So the first thing I thought of was that movie. Yeah, it's true. All but right. but in his defense, let me just say this: is you know we think about the bad about that, but what we don't think about is the struggling economy of Amity. <laughs> They're a tourist. <laughs> they're a, they they run on tourism. Agreed. You know that Agreed. whole. You know if your uncle would have lost yeah. his job because they closed the <laughs> down the beaches and stopped all tourism, Agreed. you'd be singing a different tune. Agreed. If it would have been my crab shack, they closed. Yeah, down. you know well, the, There's I, two sides of that story. You know who's the worst cop in movie history? Who's that? Danny Glover and Saw. Horrible. Oh, Danny shit. Glover and Saw. Yeah, it was yeah. not a good Shoddy cop. Shoddy right. detective work. I'll tell Hold you on, I'm trying one. to think of a worse cop in movie history than Danny Glover and Saw. American Ninja. What's it with American Ninja? Ed recently just saw American Ninja uh, for the first time. Michael Dudikoff? Michael Dudikoff at his best. <laughs> Has he done anything else? At, uh, no. Yeah, Bachelor Party. <laughs> yeah. What? Bachelor Party. Bachelor Party. Guy, is it the guy who well, kept trying to he, he was the worst ninja in, at that Bachelor Party. <laughs> what was the name? In, it was it was Joe something. In, uh, Joe Shitty Ninja. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this at all. Uh, here's the greatest movies from when Quit I was... Quit touching me, Joe Tessielli. When I was eight years old, I, I loved American Ninja and I loved... Uh, Braddock two missing an action. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's a great right. movie. I like Death Wish. Uh, Death Wish three. Great. That was movies. my good. Great movie. Okay, so so <laughs> what I love, Jesus, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Olivia just uh, gave uh, gave Ed the high sign. Nice. All right. Finally, here's yeah, I'm gonna plug in the last piece of my pre-producing nightmare, which was <laughs> I asked these guys again for something from the show. And uh, and Sean's last piece of input to me was, wasn't it bullshit when they made us chug our drinks to go upstairs? Yeah, no, it and was. again, we were in a theater and we wanted to go upstairs, and they told us we had to finish our drinks beforehand. So we all chugged like ten to twelve ounces of like vodka and whiskey and beer and whatever. which is why none of us can remember the show yes. and only the yeah, ride home. Which, which would explain why all, all we can remember is Carlos sliding on the back of the truck <laughs> on the way home. Come, but I think come. I think it's why like Ed and I. You know, uh, we we've gotten to this <laughs> drunken state because I think we just want to show like what the. I'm fall sorry, of- I can't listen to you until you drink. Yeah, drink your shot, Carlos. What was it like uh, riding in the car here tonight? Like your what? ancestors came to this country. Uh, it was- oh, 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 hey, somebody's what? got an apology letter to write. <laughs> what? This is Kick getting ass. horrible. This three is pages, boss. Well, okay, I did say I did say that in case we get pulled over. I did say say that we opened up an Argentinian clothing store, uh, and that we have an Argentinian mannequin. Is our next in the our back next podcast clothes. just going to be people reading apology letters? I'm not, I'm, I'm Please, not what do you have be, to say? I'm Ed? not going to be in the next podcast. <laughs> this is yeah, horrible. Carlos is finally back. Carlos, why are you not going to be in the next oh, podcast? Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's back, and I think I think like you know, I think we He's should still all looking look at, at me. <laughs> you know, the fall of order. Oh, like because, Carlos. Carlos, get in my office uh, now. Uh, that's enough of that. I would. Uh, I would. No, ask, no, he's in the office now. I would ask Mike to. Why the, is he leaving? The the aftermath. <laughs> the aftermath thing. I don't have the fuck. We the, forgot, we forgot right? the iPod. <laughs> worst. Hey, worst podcast. Bur- ever. Word, worst podcast. I don't have worst, the iPod. No, podcast. it's the best one. Uh, Carlos, why are you quitting? <laughs> Why are you leaving the no money? Uh, well, Don't leave the no money. <laughs> we'll give you less money. <laughs> we'll give you less money. Just don't leave the no money. Oh my. Have you been drinking, sir? <laughs> Have you been drinking my butt juice? Oh, my. <laughs> no, why are you leaving? No. Right, right now for you listeners. Nobody drinks my butt juice, so why are you leaving? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right now for you listeners, Sean just left his chair. He's laughing so oh hard. He's laughing at the bar. I actually have never seen Sean laugh so hard. <laughs> you never looked at him while you were talking. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of. I'm in too busy drinking <laughs> shots gross, every fucking minute. Gross, no, I mean in the other thirty podcasts. Sean, are you okay? <laughs> Sean. <laughs> all right. Oh fuck. End this. No, Carlos. All right, we got to bring this Carlos, thing ahead. All right, Carlos. Carlos. Oh, yes. Carlos, you guys up. need to figure this out right now. All but right. yes. All right. All right. I have two shots. But <laughs> you're going on shot forty. Wow. For the record. Nice, Mike. Yeah, see? That's 40 ounces of beer. And I just want to say, like, the clarity in me. 
Uh, right now? <laughs> It's pure. Yeah, you're so clear. You missed it's the, so pure it, that Carlos is crying. You missed the heavy sexual, crying right now. The heavy sexual tension between Ed and it Carlos. It makes Madonna right hard candy sound like fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh going God. through um, more poop. Do you guys understand? Do you guys <laughs> Do you guys realize that when they did the War of the Worlds broadcast, this is what happened? A bunch of people drinking, just hanging around, and they decided, like, we're going to cause a mass panic. Yeah, we, we're causing a panic yeah, right now. I'm sure there's a panic. Um, Mrs. Can, Donatella. A lot of com. regrets. A lot of regrets here. All right, let's bring this thing to a close. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <We're gonna> start <laughs> what started? <laughs> Mike, we're going to start the uh, aftermath with you in the deepest. There we go. <laughs> Take your shot and do your aftermath All right. right now. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I think any time you, like, you deal with funerals and things like that, it's always kind of a question of, like, you look at your own mortality and how life is. Yeah, that's like Monday for you, Mike. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I tend to think of myself as living a long time. No, but when you look at a sandwich, you think of your own mortality. Yeah, exactly. Like, everything is your mortality. Like you're going to choke on it. Well, Depends you on know. what sandwich you order. No, any sandwich. Any sandwich. No, you order a avocado club. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you order my grandmother's sub. Yes, you do. <laughs> No, Mike. Any, Quit being a jerk, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> anytime Quit Mike, ordering a Mike Cousinini. Now you like sorry. it, Joe. Mike Cousin. Now you like it. Sub. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Joe Donatelli. What happened? What happened? My, ear, my, my earphones are taken off now. I'm walking out. Uh, what? Well, Slam. <laughs> All right. I didn't get to finish my thought. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Because you were Dude. thinking evil. I mean, uh, I opened the door because you were thinking evil. Slam. <laughs> No, I'm just yeah. saying. Um, you ever is, felt is like you Ford here? Like, you like, ever felt like you're you're the tuba yeah, player on the Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm right just now. I'm just saying. Like, boom, I I've boom, often boom. realized, like, you know, life is beautiful. It's a lot of fun, and you know, you can really get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Uh, sex, love, you know, get, having a garden. I mean, everything <laughs> is great. Five. What's the two? But left? one way to clearly, one way to clearly end your life, is to drink. Budweiser and Clamato yeah. at the same time because it's not wow. very... My, I just picked one up. Mike finished off one of these. It's not very good. Wow. And I'm drinking a shot a minute of this stuff. Like, <laughs> you realize you really do see the darker side of things. <laughs> and and believe me, in the dark corner of the aftermath, I'm sitting next to a very cute dog that's sleeping next to me. Yep. All I see is darkness. <laughs> Drink your shot, mofo. Oh and that's God. all I have to say. Oh, my God. I think he's... Carlos, uh, bring some kind of order to this man. I, I don't know where to begin. Just try. No. Uh, well, uh, I did enjoy the show. Good. I did, I did laugh. I enjoyed yeah, the kids in the hall. They were very yeah, good. They were very good. Very talented group. But did you enjoy this show? Uh, <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> I think we should do... Th- I think the next podcast, we should t- comment on this show. Oh. Sean is fucking uh, writhing in his own laughter. Yes. Uh, I've never so, seen a man writhe uh, in his own laughter. Seriously, watch him when you talk. Yes. This is what Sean always looks like when you're giving your speeches. I guess so. It's, it's weird to see the, and, in your uh, own drunkenness what, what you do to this reality. And uh, I want to see uh, Budweiser, <laughs> Clamato, <laughs> Doc Kearney. <That's> right. <laughs> Jaime, Clamato, uh, Doc Kearney. I feel like I've just Jimmy, been yeah. a fisherman and I've grown a lot of you tomatoes. You just threw up so bad right. today, man. Yeah, wait. good luck with that. Uh... Ed, why don't you wrap this up in, in your own unique way? Hey, you guys. All right, I'm going to tell you this. I'm Wolfman Ed Galvez. Oh. Ow! Oh, the ghoul And you know what? I had the best time tonight. And if you want to have a good time, um, listen to this podcast. Drink Budweiser and Clamato, not separate because that's gross. But together, it's a drink going <laughs> true. You had one of those tonight. Um, uh, Mike Constantini. Thank you so much for being a beautiful person, and I thank you. And uh, hey, what about me? What, no, oh, hold on. Um, <laughs> someone's poking with their foot. <laughs> it's more. Anyway, it's not me. It's anyway, not me. I just want to say, uh, on behalf of everyone here, I just want to say I'm sorry for your loss. But Thanks, we're all Ed. here for you, and yeah. if you need anything, we're all here for you. Yeah. Are or, you sure? <laughs> no, I'm here for him. Uh, okay. And whatever just like you don't pick up, I'm I'll oh, pick right, it up because right. you're a jerk, Carlos. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Drink it, Mike. Are you out? Mike's about to finish his second. Yeah, dude. After a minute of beer, Mike's, Mike killed 48 through. ounces of uh, Bud Light, Budweiser, because he's awesome. 
I'm impressed. Coming up next to the mic is Sean Kearney. Uh, <laughs> Sean? I was going to to pick my, my dream actor presidential ticket. Okay. But? I would say it's uh, Gene Hackman. Oh. Ooh. With a uh, running mate... L- Running mate or secretary of defense, that Lance lady? Henriksen, would be mine. Ooh. If something really bad hit the world. You know what? I This is what I do. Here's my dream ticket. I take it back. Gene Hackman, president. Yeah. Right. Danny Glover, vice president. Really? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> secretary of defense, Lance Henriksen. <laughs> yeah. And um, White House press secretary. Yeah. John Goodman. You got me back. You got me back on yep. Goodman. Goodman, was who was a Republican candidate for president on the West Wing. On the West Wing. You got me back on Goodman. You, you lost me. You got me back. I want Mike <laughs> as president <laughs> and uh, Ed as a uh, vice president. Ed Galvez? Yeah. I'd vote for Ed Galvez. Ed Secretary of yeah. Booze. Yeah. Yeah. Of good times. Of good times. I think I'm a worse sell. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think if you could say Ed Galvez was vice, people would be going, yeah. And you go, a booze. And you go, oh, wait a minute. What? <laughs> <laughs> really need a... Well put. <laughs> <laughs> so you're fired. And this is why uh, this is why Bill Richardson didn't get the nomination. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> yeah, we know. Uh, very good. Ed's leaving. <laughs> good night, Ed. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> Ed, uh, Ed has left. Uh, We've not had somebody leave since... Uh, since uh, Oh, I think the battery died. The battery. Right. Olivia, thank you for the uh, yes. minute by minute. And I'm Mark Thomas. Thank you for uh, getting beer and stuff for us during the show. Appreciate that. Yeah, well, whoever man. whoever got all the beer for Ed, thank you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah that worked out well. And uh, I'm not going to say tonight was our cleanest podcast. It was fun. This wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was a little fun. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I had a good time. <laughs> and it was well, it's tough. We didn't have a, we didn't have a column yeah. right this week, so. Well, you know what? We had good times. We had to kind of wing it. It was one of those Irish nights. Uh, it was an Irish night. Your Italian grandma. Yes, and Kearney. And for Sean Kearney. So uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, who stuck around <laughs> as long to listen. <laughs> thank you for singing through to the uh, the end. Appreciate yes. that. And uh, and we will be back. Ah, uh, there we go. Good one last drink, time, Mike. Mike. One last one. We're gonna finish it off right here. And uh, we'll be back next week with a fully written column and a fully coherent podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we'll, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Bye. That's all for this episode of The Second Column. For more information, go to joedonatelli.com.